välkomnar vi till presskonferens efter match i SBL De Södertälje mot Mark. Södertälje vinner 99-46 och vi går naturligtvis direkt till gästande coach för Fredrik Almqvist. Och kan du beskriva med egna ord hur du upplevde den här matchen? Ja, det är inte så mycket att säga egentligen. Vi, jag tyckte ändå vi hade de första 3-4 minuter hade vi fina skottlägen men vi missade allting. Och sen då var det tack och adjö. Så att det är bara... Vad säger man? Bocka och tacka för uppvisningen. Det var kul att se. Du säger ni började ju matchen ganska bra. Ni hade ganska mycket öppna lägen. Och tror du att det hade förändrat någonting av matchbilden? Med att ni kanske hade kommit upp lite mer positivt? Eller vad tror du Absolut. Det? Hade vi sett de första skottet så klart det hade det blivit mycket jämnare match. Sen hade ju Södertälje vunnit. Det är ingen snack om den saken. De är mycket mer proffsiga än oss. Och jag sa till tjejen efter i omklädningsrummet nu att vi måste börja spela försvar på träningar. Vi får inte gråta om någon smäller på utan... Nu måste vi verkligen göra det för Södertälje visar hur man spelar försvar och det är det som skiljer oss idag. Vi får inte de extra sekunderna utan då blir vi frustrerade. Plus att eh, Klara och eh, Maria gör väl hundra poäng tillsammans så det är ju det som är problemet. De andra gjorde ju inga poäng i deras lag. Så det är, lite grann ligger i aggressiviteten i defense att det är den biten som eh, alltså, måste upp i den biten. Södertäljes försvar var fantastiskt bra och vi måste ju förbereda oss det på träningar. För att klara av det i matcher. Mm. Så jag sa att your defense was fantastic today. That's a different. We didn't get the extra seconds. So we need to start playing defense on practice without crying. If there is some foul, so credit for you. Eh, du nämnde också tidigare att ni har lite grann i att ibland så spelar ni bra. Och att få kontinuitet antar jag är någonting som du också vill få till i laget. Att... Ja, jag tyckte vi hade en sträcka av matcher. Vi slog Aalik borta, vi slog AIK hemma, vi förlorade mot Luleå. Och sen låg vi under med 15-16 poäng i sista perioden mot Högsbo och gick upp och ledde till någon sekund kvar. Så tyckte vi var igång. Nu har vi varit lediga i två, tre veckor och tränat en vecka. Och så är vi, vi är inte matchfart än och... Men nu har vi många roliga matcher framför oss så att eh, vi ska nog kunna göra en del bus med nedlag. Då hoppas jag på att ni gör mycket bus <laughs> framöver. Och så vänder vi blicken mot eh, coach for SBBK. Uh, first of all, congratulations for the win. And, Thank you. Uh, can you please with your words describe what you felt about this game? Uh, well, first of all, uh, big respect for, for them and the players know it that uh, the day before yesterday we, we start talking about uh, Mark and we start talking about the team that deserve more than what they are in the standings. We've uh, seen on the video um, great moments uh, playing uh, basketball, so we had uh, respect, of course. I'm not proud for the win because uh, we were... We have uh, better uh, players, no? Maybe some players with uh, of another another level, and I'm 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 proud because the the work of the mentality of of the team from the from the beginning, as you know that you are here now. We are we are through a month and a half that we have a lot of uh, problems about uh, injuries. So the team is not growing up uh, since uh, the end of November. But I'm uh, practicing because we are not having the uh, the level that we want in our practices to reach our highest uh, level is what we want to become. But I'm proud of the mentality because uh, not practicing in a good level, we are ready to come today and start from the first minute with uh, the right mentality and doesn't care who is the the opponent. No. So uh, yesterday, Christina was not here. Frida was not here. Uh, but the team uh, wanted to to play and to show uh, a good a good level. So we've been something else than just pragmatic. That's really good. And you have, of course, you have Maria mm. and Clara doing a fantastic game. If you look at the score, uh, but you also uh, put some minutes on the younger play today. Uh, I saw that you used more than like more than normal, maybe. Yes. Uh, well, I don't know if you you mean that uh, Emilia. Emilia uh, is doing a great job during the season, and now she's in sweets. No, this like last month, she's understanding every every time better how to when to pass the ball in, when to shoot, when to attack the the close out. So it's it's um, not easy for the defense to read what she's gonna do. No, I'm proud, and I said to to her on the 
after the first 20 minutes. Also, Yusen is going, doing a, a, a good job, and, uh, and also Patricia, no? Patricia, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's helping the team, it's uh, reading some situation, and it's difficult when you are on the same position than Clara mm -hmm. to, to be in the court and, and shine, no? Because mm -hmm. always, uh, like, uh, we have Clara there, no? Yeah. But uh, she knows that she also can play with uh, Clara, yeah. and uh, she did a great job. And also we could give some minutes to for uh, Marta, that yeah. also yesterday she had a, an accident with uh, with Lulu, and finally she could play. And minutes for some and Tuve and Tina mm. that are helping us to to train, to to practice, and uh, I'm I'm happy for for them. Yeah, that's what I mean. You, I mean, you give minutes to Tuve, seven minutes, and that's really good. That's what I'm I was thinking yeah. about. Yeah. yeah. So uh, if you look now, this was a, a game that you win and you move on. You have some injuries. We look forward. What's your thoughts about the future? Well, uh, let's see if we can uh, recover. I think that soon, very soon, uh, Frida. We are having a conservative um, situation with uh, with her. Of course, as we said, I think one week ago, we want her for the important moments. No, so uh, we don't, we don't want to take any risk. So if they say three weeks, will be four. No, mm -hmm. and uh, and well, and Christina yesterday she had a health um, problem before the practice, and she's been during the night in the hospital and she will be some days uh, out for for sure like just take care of her and and hope that uh, nothing important uh, happens okay so uh if you look forward uh, to the games coming um uh, anything special in your on your mind well of course um uh we have on the mind everybody have on the mind uh, the svenska cup final it's uh very soon no mm -hmm. for me the important as i said some weeks ago is uh try to recover people and before that final try to do uh three four good uh practices because it's the the better way to prepare a a hard game like that one no and we have a game in in Visby, so i hope and i wish that the team uh, tomorrow and Friday make a good practice and we go to Visby done looking for um, the stands no mm -hmm. just uh, okay yeah. let's make a let's play a good game and let's uh, <laughs> let's um, use the the game uh, to to become a better team yeah so uh, looking forward to the Sanske Cup Sanske Cup uh, what's your immediate thoughts about playing in uh, over at the big uh, arena and everything is it excitement or uh, nervousness or whatever no, not nervous. Uh, I'm so happy that a lot of people will will come. Um, I was coming, you know, from from a lot of years of good, great environments. And national team on the summer was incredible with a uh, whizzing absolutely full every every game. And yeah, the Spanish league, as you know, the the gyms are full uh, yeah. every every weekend. So and this here is what I miss a little bit, no? This uh, uh, this uh, people <laughs> and. Uh, uh, I think that we are playing good and more people uh, step by step will come to support us and it's good to go uh, there and let's see in, if instead of Nervous we, we can give them a good show and they see that okay uh, the women's basketball is serious and, and it's, a, it's a good plan to do um, weekends afternoon. No? Yeah, so it's good for you coming from that environment you can put it on to the other players and they will feel safe, okay? I will try it. So thank you so much for coming and we wish, of course, for uh, Friedrich and the team uh, a safe journey back home. Thanks. Thank you.